Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm inside the brand new Volkswagen Touareg with a new multimedia system and I want to show you how easy it is to connect your iPhone Apple CarPlay to this multimedia system. It's the same thing with Android Auto because it's wireless. Both of them are wireless. So let's do it. First of all, what you have to do is just, of course, turn on the the car the the multimedia and then turn on on your phone also the bluetooth and the internet those two are very important to do before you go forward and once you do that all you have to do is just go right here into the menu you go into the menu of the car up here and then you just go to app connect once you are here you just have to search for volkswagen 1630 for example or whatever number it gives you there then you press pair yeah and right now it will ask you if you want to pair with this number you just press pair it just wait a few seconds you just allow the contact to synchronize and then press ok right here uh, retry importing right now gives me an error so you wait a few seconds in order to, to, to connect again contact have been imported and now it asks you if you want to use the Apple CarPlay use Apple CarPlay and then you press OK and wait a few seconds you don't need a cable you don't need nothing you just throw your phone away so this is it guys and the great part is that I think this is the biggest Apple CarPlay Android Auto screen ever in a car I never saw before such a big screen and you can use all this 15 inch screen uh, for this uh, for this app carplay and then you have everything you have on your phone you have right here all the application from uh, Google map or if you have like charging map ways CNBC news Spotify whatever you have it all right here super useful super nice I, I really really like it and if you want to go back all you have to do is just or you go up here you just go like to all the settings of the car or you can go here and then you search for Volkswagen you press Volkswagen and you are out of there and you just press X and you're out and right now you go back to the menu of the car it's that simple if you want to connect it again you do the same thing Dan's iPhone press the Dan's iPhone you connect Dan's iPhone and here we go simple as that if you want to ask me something and i know you will uh, your question right now in the head is that if you set a destination in the map but not in the google map or why not oh let me go back in google map it doesn't matter just set a destination for example right here come on i want to set a destination all right on this street it should work recenter come on search anyway let me go to gas station and if we go here and right now you start the destination you ask me if you can see the navigation here on the screen and the question the answer is no you can't see it here on the screen even if you go to navigation you don't have the options to see the map on the screen so the only map that you will see will be here so yeah this is it guys i hope uh, the video was useful i hope you get some useful information from here if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask and that's it hope you enjoy it don't forget to like share subscribe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys